take one of the second part. Part one should be up as I'm recording this. Or it should be coming up. But I, this is basically since I know the last one covered all of the other stuff. Basically what this one is supposed to be is... I'm going to connect what I said. I believe in the last part of the video I said... Yes, before Generation 4's villains, I believe it was Team Plasma, used, tried to use Dialga and Pal Palkia to destroy the universe or something, or make a new universe. Scientists were experimenting that, noticing that certain humans, they could basically s fuse certain humans with Pokemon, and it would result in new Pokemon. For example, I like to think that Mr. Mime was not actually was actually... Uh, basically a branch of humans that were experimented on to the point where they can no longer speak. They became mimes. Yeah. And what ends up happening is sooner or later, um, what is it? The testing experiments on some kids end up getting to the point where now kids are actually dying from some experiments, but Nobody, but the public doesn't know about that. All they know, all the public knows, and the people who who got their child back was that that was either a deformed version or they have found a way to simultaneously reverse all the injuries on him. Him or, sorry, him or her. Eventually, it's time for Oxus and Altus to be, to be tested on. But what ends up happening is Altus takes the fall eventually becoming eventually becoming the state that you see then because he gets fused with Dialga which ends ends up making him fused with Palkia too because what ends up happening is Giratina out of nowhere just storms the lab in a rage because humans are experimenting with, with his brother and I believe the the legendaries are male or female but it amongst its amongst themselves in an angry rage, it used its antimatter to, to basically take everything out, eventually awakening the mutation inside of Ultus, mutating him. And then what ended up happening is now he could time travel and stuff, but he couldn't do it correctly, ending up sending himself to when Team Rocket was literally just forming. But what he did is basically he wasn't growing. The only thing that he was, the only thing that was growing on him, to be honest, was his knowledge. But the more he mutated, the older he grew. Eventually, coming to the point of present day, in Pokemon, where now he is about, he looks like an evil. I want to say he looks like he's he's thirty. He looks like an average thirty year old, except like he has like an arm brace to make because one of it because. When I said he got formed, with the mutation it did, like, it would get a little wonky. Like, some of his body parts would be really small when they mutated, and others would be gigantic. So, it worked out for a kind of weird way. So, what ends up happening is, years later, he watches my character defeat, um, what is it, Ultus. Oh, well, sorry, Oxus. Eventually seeing his brother and taking him back to his lab. Where what he does is he uses all those mutated Pokemon he did. Because he always cared for Pokemon. He took away he took away all of their Pokemon. He took all the Pokemon out of Oxus, eventually sustaining him. Which I want to think in Generation 3, my character kills Altus because he uses all the power of the legendaries to vanquish him. But what ends up happening is it auto-reverses and then they revert and... Not to mention the fact that some that legendary is one of them. I forgot which one I'm going to make because I'm making some of this up on the fly because it was really boring. The the story in general. What ended up happening is on um so I'm making this up on the fly. So what ends up happening is one of the Pokemon I forgot which one I'm probably gonna say it's the rabbit. Is time because technically the bird one can fly through time and space simultaneously, but. The rabbit one, he wanted a third. He needed the third one due to the fact. Shh. What ended up happening was. Hold on, I'm going to be right back to recording.
Okay, so I am back to recording. What ends up happening is one of these guys, yeah, one of the experimenters or people who worked there with Altus, eventually experimenting on the rabbit to create something. The rabbit said, the rabbit didn't want any of it. He didn't want any piece in it or anyone to be experiment, any Pokemon to be experimented on again, killing Altus in the process. And what ends up happening is Oxus. I want I want to do a, a ROM hack where randomly out of nowhere you just see Altus climb up, climb out from it with a emer emerging with um what is it with the eyes of Pal um what is it with a mutated look looking like he had fused with Palkia and then shortly after you see that cutscene I want to think in the beginning of the game you start seeing him mutate you start seeing him mutate into his old form mixed with Palkia. And what ends up happening next is Altus is still alive, but he's stuck in a time stream where he can't get out. Eventually, Oxus takes him out of the time stream for a final battle that they've been preparing for for all the time that you're do that you're completing the game. And I'm probably and most likely going to make gym leaders eventually, but definitely not now because that was a lot of story to fill in. It was it was probably usually really plain, but anyway, that has been the video. Well, sorry, technically that's been the videos, but it it was really split into two parts. Anyway, I will see you next Saturday or whenever I feel like recording.